Hello everybody, my name is Grim, and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple system where if you press a key on your keyboard, it plays an animation, just like this. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do once you're in the studio is go to Starter Player, and then click on Starter Player Scripts, and click on the plus next to it, and add in a local script. Once you're in the local script, the first thing you want to do is type in local input service, service equals, and then you're going to do game colon get service, and then do quotes, and then type in user input service. And this will just get um, the user input service. What you want to do is local animation, animation equals instance dot new, and then do quotes and type in animation. And then you're going to do animation dot animation ID equals, and then do quotes and type in RBX asset ID colon forward slash forward slash. And right here, you're going to type in the animation ID. I already have one made, but if you don't know how to make an animation, you can look up a tutorial on how to do that and then just enter the animation ID right there. So let me just get the animation ID I have right here. Um, that, and all right, let me just paste that in. There we go. And you can uh, make your own animation. Just put the ID right here. And this will just set the um, the animation ID of the animation we created to the, the animation we made right there. Just like that. Now you're going to do local is playing playing equals false so see this would just like this will, we'll be using using this value to see if the animation is already playing or not and i do local key code equals enum dot key code dot and then here you can do whatever you want you can do like k you can do e you can do f i'm just gonna do f for the tutorial um but this is the key that you will press to uh to actually trigger the event Alright, next you're going to do local player equals game dot players dot local player. This will just get the local player. And then do local char equals script dot parent. Because since um, this is in starter character scripts, the, the character will be the, the parent of this script. And now do local humanoid equals char. And then do uh, colon wait for child. Wait for child. Just like that and then do quotes and or not yeah do quotes and then do humanoid yeah just like that and that'll um basically that that the humanoid of the character it'll wait for a child called humanoid make sure you have a capital h like just like that and make sure you spell it just like this humanoid all right next you're going to do local anim play equals humanoid and then do colon load animation and then do brackets, and then do quotes, and or not quotes, don't do quotes, and then do uh, just do animation inside these brackets. And what this will do is this will um, the the playing animation will be it'll load the animation onto the humanoid, and that'll be the playing animation. All right, next thing you want to do down here is do do uh, do input service dot in dot input began, and then uh, connect a function connect function key and this will be the key code um this will be like the key that is pressed whenever uh, an input is began and do if key dot key code equals key code then if if anim anim uh, or no if is playing equals false then so if you press an, if you press a key on your keyboard and it's equal to uh, the key we have set up here, and um, then if the animation is not already playing, then it will uh, continue on with the code. Then you're going to do um, is playing equals true, so it'll set the animation playing to true, and then do play or do anim play, and then do colon and then do play, and then brackets after that, and this will actually play the animation. Next, after that, we're going to do anim play dot stopped, and then do colon connect brackets, and then uh, function. Just like that. Make sure you have it just like this. And this basically this will do is this is uh, when the animation is stopped, um, then it'll fire this function. And then you're going to do um, is playing equals false. So what this all does is it gets the input service, and whenever uh, you press a key on your keyboard, it gets the key code. 
and then if the key key code that you press if like the key that you press is equal to the key code we set up here then um, if the animation is not already playing then it sets the animation playing to true it plays the animation and then when the animation is stopped it sets playing to true or to false and now if we actually go um, back to the game click play here now once it loads in you can see if we press f on our keyboard it plays a waving animation just like that and even if we spam it it doesn't uh, keep playing it um if we spam it it only lets us play it once the animation is finished and you can do like any animation you want and you can customize this any way you want and it's a pretty cool system so yeah make sure you like and subscribe and see you in the next one